All right, guys, so I've been searching for the perfect drone for moto vlogging for well over a year now. And I think we finally found the perfect companion, the DJI Neo. So what makes this drone special? And I mean, I know that there's a lot of mixed reviews on this drone, specifically in regards to the camera quality. And, you know, I think though that this is a very good start for a future of drones that a lot of a lot more people are going to be able to use so and uh, here's why i think that i started out with the mini 3 pro thinking that its small form factor would be perfect to throw in my backpack take with me on the motorcycle and just go but truth be told it was a lot more difficult i mean it's still bulky in a bag you've got the rc controller and it takes way more time to set up to try to get shots. Whereas this, I think we can just straight it out of the backpack. I mean, it almost fits in your back pocket, maybe a side pocket if you have some cargo jeans on. But we can just stop, pull this out. We don't need a controller. And now, we have our drone ready to go. So we've taken, we stopped off our bikes. We're getting ready to go venture around. And I'm sure right now this is not the perfect time of day. We probably should have done this a little bit earlier in the morning, but uh, all this white rock will probably get blowed out. But this is what I'm talking about right here. This is why I think the DJI Neo is the next level in vlogging equipment. Look at this, this thing is climbing a mountain with me. If I was to do this with any other drone, I would have had to have gotten, had a controller, bulky controller in my hand or in my backpack. But here we are. So DJI Neo, and of course I'm using the DJI mics for audio here. Had to check to see if it was on, but uh, yeah, so this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is why I think the DJI Neo is the perfect moto vlogging drone, man. I know this kind of got a little bit of a short battery life, but really, I mean, how often are you gonna stop? I'm almost out of breath, man. I'm out of shape. <laughs> how often are you gonna stop you know, and you only need that 30 second shot because you just, you know, you're cruising and you see a place that's beautiful. You don't want to have to break out a big bulky drone, like I said, like a Mini 3 Pro or any of the minis at all, period. Still is going to take up a lot of space. So. All right, I'm sure I blowed out because of the sun, but let's walk back down the hill. This is kind of the party place here. I think the uh, trip down the hill is gonna be more treacherous. Crystal, make sure you be careful trying to carry your camera. So we got the Neo on DJI's pre-order sale. It came, a, it came a little bit early, and uh, we did an unboxing video. We'll uh, link that in the descriptions for those of y'all that are looking for the drone-only package. We have an RC2 controller at home, and we, whoo, we hope in the future that the uh, DJI will maybe offer a firmware update that allows this to work with the goggles Integra and the FPV2 controller, which we, we have at home already, but... Uh, Anyway, so yeah, now we've made our adventures. All right, guys. So yeah, so I think the DJI Neo is the ultimate moto vlogging drone. This thing has quite a few features. The Basically the quick shots that most of the modern DJI drones offer, like the Droney, Helix, Rocket, Circle. So yeah, if you had your motorcycle parked 
you know, in the perfect location, sitting on top of a cliff, overlooking, you know, some kind of vista or something, then yeah, you just take your DJI drone, your Neo, launch it from your hand, the thing's gonna do its quick shot, it's gonna come back down. So yeah, man, I think all the critics out there that are really, you know, maybe bashing the Neo, uh, yeah, is it, can it do like 10 bit or does it have like a whole lot of options as far as, you know, D-Lock, none of that, no, not really. But I think for the guys like us that just need a quick shot for social media, I think it's there. And I think that uh, the next version of this or maybe some future updates, firmware updates will probably solve some more of those issues, you know. And not every single one of us are, you know, professional YouTubers and have $5,000 Mac computers and, you know, software where we can color grade things perfectly. So I think this is a really good starting point, like I said, and it's very easily fit in the backpack. You don't have to lug a whole bunch of batteries, a whole bunch of controllers and accessories and things like that. Two or three small batteries with this thing, man, you're good to go. So anyways, guys, it's Paris. And of course, until the next one, you know what to do. Keep it real. Deuces, we're out.